like what you're seeing? Hey, come on now, will you? If you're gonna gawk, gawk from where I can gawk back. Fair is fair. I'll turn my back. I won't watch. You can either come out and show yourself or go away. Either way is okay with me. You gotta do one or the other, okay? I'm Lorelai the second. She's 
she's Lorelai, the third. My grandmother was Lorelai, and my mother was Lorelai Jr. Very common name around these parts. No kidding! I've never heard of my life before. No, I hear four of them. <laughs> and in a jerk town like Wakefield, too. Very well known and very well respected name, too. Around these parts, huh? Wakefield, Massachusetts, United States of America, North America, Western Hemisphere, Earth, Universe, Infinity. I'm very deep. Oh, yeah? So the lake. What do you call it? The lake? Yeah, the lake. Janet. I call it Janet. See these shoes? These are the twins, the bench, Nanny Mary Poppins. And you are what we see of Silver as he rides off into the sunset. Hmm? A horse's ass. Oh. <sighs> Unbelievable. Lake Quanapowit. Name for the local Indians. A tribe that vanished? All right! I forgot. <laughs> you want to know about my husband? Sure. What does he do for a living? <laughs> Break backs? No. Not for a living. He just breaks backs as a weekend hobby kind of thing. He sounds nice. He's a minister. No kidding? No kidding. What kind of minister? Protestant. A Protestant minister? You don't say. What denomination? Baptist. He's black, six five and a half, hazel eyes, square jaw, thick neck. He's a hunk. He is? Yeah. A hunk? Yeah. <laughs> a what? Huh? <laughs> a hunk of what? <laughs> You just passing through? Or are you planning to set up a business here? Hey! Maybe pizza! Wakefieldians eat a hell of a lot of pizza. Santoro hit it big with subs. Maybe you could get pizza. A pizza place with the real gimmick could be a real hot shit success. <laughs> Anybody ever tell you, you got a mouth like a toilet? Oh yeah! Couple of guys. They didn't get to follow me though. Not with an obvious line like that. You know, maybe a quick feel, but nowhere solid. I've never been a sucker for an obvious come on line. I like something more subtle. <laughs> a gun? <laughs> a knife? That sort of thing? No. Mm -mm. Money is more what I had in mind. Jeez. What a shame. I used all my spare change on the train from North State. Hey, well listen. You can't win them all. I had a guy here just the other afternoon. A real lower. Real bullshit artist type. You know he tried to pay me with magic beans. No kidding? No kidding. Was he youngish? Yeah, youngish. Short? Yeah, wicked short. Nearly teensy. Was he leading a cow on a rope? That's him! Never heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> you do night work, huh? Huh? You work anywhere? Yeah, I work. What kind? I work for a big company. Construction. Oh, really? <laughs> you construct things. Me? <laughs> Personally? Nope. Opposite. I tear things down. I'm on the destruction end. Wrecking. Well, it sounds like you've done really well with this stuff. <coughs> Very successful.
wrecking, huh? They pay you a lot of money to do that? Money? Sure. Sounds like you took a lot of school. Schooling? <laughs> well, you got a big desk. Oh, come on. A big position? You're supposed to be cute now or something. Me? Cute? I have a middle-sized position. Middle management, they call us. It's a middle-sized position. <laughs> Do you like it? My position? Do I like my middle-sized position? I'm still awful tired from the traveling. My nerves are all at you. Don't sweat it. I meant the town. Huh? When I asked you, do you like it? I meant do you like the town? Being here. Oh! <laughs> I get you. You wanted to know if I like being here. I love it. Figured you did. Your parents, are they still? My parents, are they still? Sure, still as they come. Yeah, 
heart attack, finally. <coughs> Waited long enough, worrying. Shot out of his chair like he'd been kicked by a mule. Watching Miss America. Were you there? Sure. That must have frightened you. I don't know. I suppose. And your husband? What about him? Was he, was he with you then? Then? No. Just me. And your mother? On display. Being waked in the living room. Oh, I see. And you were alone, huh? That's what I said, right? You got yourself a short memory problem, don't you? You know who what? Miss Virginia. A brunette with mushy, big brown eyes, a wicked dumb drawl, mouth always open, real slutty like, and a pair of tits. Shot, no doubt about it, full of sand. Come on. Your type. Don't be vulgar. But I am. Born vulgar, grow up vulgar, die vulgar. It's the tradition around here, amongst those who stay and miss out on sophistication of world travel. Must be nice. Your life. It's the greatest.
It really worried me a hell of a lot. It sort of ruined me, you might say. My twirling! I used to twirl. <laughs> I was very good at it. Some people used to think I could twirl wicked. <laughs> I still could if I had to. You're pretty weird, you know that? <laughs> Do we have to? I'm going to be 30 soon. Next month. You look younger. Yeah, that's what they tell me. You ever been anywhere that you actually thought was, you know, exciting? Worth staying at me? I guess. Some place you might send somebody like me? You might like cities. I've seen cities. I think I've seen them all. Every city. My line of work, it's indigenous. What's that supposed to mean? Indigenous? <laughs> Peculiar too. I'm not stupid. I never said you were. You travel around a lot, huh? Sure. Wherever they have a big demolition job, I have to go there first and estimate the costs. Sounds really crappy. It's pretty bad. Do you think I'm dull? Yes, I really <laughs> do. I don't talk to people much. It does show a little, yeah. I 
did 31 straight days in a row. I think I read about it. I called the butcher. What the hell are you talking about anyway? I called the butcher. Every time I used to walk by his butcher shop, he used to call out to me. Usual things like, Hey girl, you want some of my meat? Oh, or how about some nice boys, cutie? <laughs> that kind of thing. Every night, from the 1st of July, right through to the very first, inclusive. Gave him something to think about. You like it? I loved it. At first, he was really made nervous, you know, by my language. But by the middle of the month, even earlier, by the 10th or so, he calmed down really quite a lot. By the 20th, he worked it out to get his wife and family to stop picking up the phone. He worked it out most of the time to get them right out of the room. He started whole conversations. You know what he said on July 28th? If I knew, it somehow slipped my mind. I love you. What? That's what he said. Yes. I want you to know that I really love you. <laughs> That's what he told me. I asked if he wanted to meet me, but all he wanted was my phone number. <laughs> Come on, William. It's true. He kept avoiding the question. He just kept asking for my number. What time was it did you call him? What the hell kind of weird question is that? I just wondered. Time of night. Five minutes to eleven. Just before the news. Every night? Religiously. How could he get his family out the room every night? He was dedicated. You're the weird one here. I mean, you're all jittery. Me? On the 31st, I walked into the shop and asked him if he liked my halter top. <laughs> It was hot, and I had a whole time that was kind of loose fitting. I get thin, no bra or anything, and shorts that were kind of wrecked from being washed so much. You know, holy, nothing underneath the knee there. <laughs> he pretended he didn't know me. Even when I did the same sentences I did on the phone over and over again to his face, he pretended he didn't know me. He said he's going to have to call the cops if I didn't stop my dirty talk. Can you imagine? We were all alone in the shop. Me just talking the sentences over and over again. Him just standing there with his bloody hands and apron. A look of honest to God shock on his face. This is an awful thing, but it's on my mind. I forgot your name. What? I know it was pretty, but <laughs> I can't seem to remember it exactly. I'm sorry. What the hell do you want from me anyway? I don't want anything from you. It was a sunny day. I was walking. I saw it. I thought it might be interesting. Bullshit! You've been following me for a week now. I saw you over here by yourself, hopping around like some kind of weird, retarded hooker, you know? Oh. And I estimated <laughs> that it might be interesting. Drop dead. To pick you up. Was it? Was it what? Was it interesting? No! Not very. Not bad. You're not stupid. Just not very interesting. You didn't miss, and you missed. I wasn't concentrating. It's Lorelei. L-O-R-A-L-I is the way we spell it. I don't think that's correct. Okay, I'm Earl. Earl the Third. 
My grandfather and my father are both Earls. Get off of me! Let me! Get off of me! I'm Earl the Third. Maybe even Earl the Fourth. Who's keeping score, huh? How about Mr. Earl? Is that any better? Let me up! When I want to. You let me up! When I decide to. You let me up! Is that any better? Yeah! Just what I've been waiting for! I must take a lot of courage to throw somebody around. I'm ready to hear about this fraught and caught husband of yours. Do you two enjoy each other? I expect an answer here, please. Yes, we do! How? I'd really like to know how. Speak to me. Tell me some of the good things you do together. You're hurting me! Good! Son of a bitch! Come on! Laura Liar! Let's hear what you and the Reverend do for your Charlies. I'm really curious. Let me go! Outside the Greyhound station? I couldn't believe my goddamn eyes. You 
forget? Uh, that's too bad. I just got off the bus, still carrying my suitcases. You were leaning against a building with the others. A real pro, huh? We could talk. You're crazy. Oh, yeah. Really crazy. You smiled, I smiled. I never saw you outside of any bus station. What the hell are you talking about? Who was he? Who was he? Who was who? Answer me who you were waiting for. You're making all this up. Come off the shit. Okay, fine. That's what you need, that's what you get. I don't know who he was. Just somebody passing through, okay? Somebody passing through? What the hell is that supposed to mean? It just means somebody. I have to have somebody. You could leave. I can't. I did. But you're back. How come? Just passing through, believe me. Nothing here that interests me enough to stay around this jerk town. I loathe you. You're really a tramp, aren't you? I mean, when you get right down to the bottom of things, you just whore around, don't you? Isn't that right? How many? How many what? How many men? How many men do you have to have? As many as I can get. My husband went to Baptist clergy council meeting in Worcester to give a speech on family planning. That's his specialty, family planning. He likes to use gray lines buses instead of driving. Gives him time to study his notes. He likes his speeches to be perfect. Your mother? How did she die? She just did. That's no answer. What's the goddamn difference to you, huh? I'd like to know. She's my mother, not yours. I'd like to know. You should have stuck around. You would have known. Elsa. Fourteen years. Nothing. Not a word. You married me on a Tuesday and by Friday you're gone. Not a call. Not a pigeon with a note. Not even a bottle floating in the lake with a message. Fourteen years and not a word. Nothing. What do you want? Want? Here. Now. What do you want? A look. A look. Okay, fine. Look. You had your look. Now leave. I don't know anybody around here anymore. Just you. Join the club! Elsa, don't you, for Jesus Christ's sake, ever put your hands on me again! I was 17! I was 16. I'm sorry! You've got no right to be sorry. 16 years old, and pregnant, and terrified, and you just fucking leave me here! To, to what? To die? To what? What did you figure I was gonna do? Run the bank? Drink the lake? I'm really curious, Wilbur. I really am. I was 17. I was scared. How about when you were 19? How about when you were 25? How about when you were 27? I'll tell you what's really on my mind right now, Wilbur. What's really at the tip of my tongue as I stand here looking at you face to face. I wasted so much of my time worrying about you. And you're nothing. I've had dozens more interesting boys than you right here in town. Practically all of them. Shut it up now, okay? Can't take it, huh? I don't give a fat shit about you or your boys. I gave yours away. Wow. What's that supposed to mean? I was pregnant, remember? Did you forget? I gave it away. Boy or girl? Which do you want to Don't be stupid! But I am boy! Boy! boy girl! girl which? Both! Twins. Mm. Triplets. A litter. I had a litter. You should have stuck around. It was quite a show. Elsa, listen. Nope. Sorry. Listen to me. 
Nope. Listen to me. If you had a son. Daughter. If you had a son. And he was 17. And he got a local girl knocked up. And he could either stay here and be married to her. Or he could get the hell out of Wakefield once and for all. Which would you want him to do? Filthy rotten son. Elsa, listen! You filthy rotten Elsa. bastard! There's no son. I killed it. I killed your son. It's true. I couldn't take his crying. I couldn't take his noise. He had your face. That's what I really couldn't stand. That's what I really couldn't take. He was you. It's true. I didn't make a mistake at all, did I? I did just the right thing, didn't I? I think you're a monster. Swell. It's great. That's just great. Is that what you came back here for? To tell me that? Whose is this? It's not mine. You said that, not me. It probably belongs to somebody young. The town's full of young families. The town's crawling with young families. Sorry about your mother and father. Save it, okay? I hope to see them. To talk to, to them. what? To get them to forgive you? They didn't. They never would have. Believe you me. That's a fact. I would have liked to have tried to explain. Hey, listen. Be my guest. Try. Explain. They're buried right over there in Lakeside. You know the spot, don't you? right next to yours. I never guessed you'd be so involved. What's that supposed to mean? You just seemed so involved with me. Still so passionate. You're really unbelievable, Will. You <coughs> were an unbelievable kid. And you ran <coughs> away and saw the world and grew up. And now you're back here. And I could just see you become just an unbelievable middle-aged adult. It's all really just unbelievable. I'm so happy to see the way you turned out. To see what a stupid little asshole you turned out to be. I can see exactly what you are. I'm so lucky. I wish you were dead. I'm getting married. Uh, I've met a girl, and she's really nice. And I think you like her. I've decided to stop, you know, moving around. I'm coming back. We're settling here. Home. Aren't you going to say anything? We'll talk. I'll call you. I'll assure you, well, you don't understand. I never played hopscotch with you. I don't know what the hell you think you're doing. 